Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 13th of 2022, well, it is titled a long snaking filament on our sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our sun and looking at it in great detail. So we can see that our sun is not just a nice flat surface, but actually has a lot of structure to it. Now the structure unlike that of a planet is much more variable and continuously changes. So even taking an image a few days or a few hours later, it would change significantly. Whereas of course, surface features on a solid planet would remain the same for a very long period of time. Now the underlying structure is what we see as the chromosphere of the sun and that is known as the sphere of color. So it's a region up above the photosphere or sphere of light, the region that we typically see on the sun. So when we see the sun at sunrise or sunset, we are then looking at the photosphere. This is a region up above it, higher up in the atmosphere that we're looking at. And we can see some distinct features here, including a sunspot. And in the chromosphere here, the sunspot will appear bright. On the surface of our sun, they appear dark. And here we can see that sunspot, an object about the size of our Earth. So that's very large by comparison. Remember that the sun is many times the size of Earth. Now the other thing that we're mainly looking at here is this filament that snakes around by the sunspot out over towards the left hand side and then back across the middle of the image. Uh, this is an extremely long filament that lasted over a week or so on the sun. Now what is a filament? Well it's actually material raised up above the surface of the sun. If we see it against the edge of the sun, we would see it as a prominence. So material lifted off the sun. Here we see it as this snaking feature, but it's actually lifted up higher above the surface of the sun. The activity on the sun is all caused by magnetic effects, by the magnetic field of the sun that lifts off material. So a strong magnetic field would then lift off the plasma on the surface of the sun, the ionized material, and raise that up. Sometimes it just raises it up for a short time, just for a few hours or a day, and then it slowly rains back down onto the surface of our sun. Other times it can be a much more violent event causing a solar flare where material is whipped off the surface of the sun and expelled out into space. So that magnetic field can lift it with enough energy to achieve escape velocity from the sun expanding it outward into space and some of those solar flares if directed it if directed toward Earth can actually cause interference with electronics, communications, satellites and such here on Earth. We can also get much larger uh, effects as well that sometimes do happen as the sun becomes more active. And we see that the sun is becoming more active. We're coming out of a minimum and heading towards a more maximum area of solar activity. The changes in solar activity increase and then decrease over an 11 year cycle. So we'll reach a maximum of solar activity about every 11 years, which will be coming up a few years from now, as we're just coming out a few years ago from a minimum. So a couple of years from now, we'll reach a maximum and then back down to a minimum again in a continuing cycle that we have noted on the sun. So that was our picture of the day for September 13th of 2022. It was titled a long snaking filament on the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be waving space lizard. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.